I had occasion this week to dig out a copy of George Washington's farewell address, uh, doing a little bit of uh, research for an article, and it was rather fascinating. Uh, I read it all, and it's very well worth reading if you haven't read it. It's a lot of unbelievable wisdom in there. Uh, and, of course, uh, Thomas Jefferson came later, and there's more wisdom from that great man as well. And I think some of the United States mores uh, stem from the fact that they have forgotten these wonderful words of wisdom uh, from their ancestors. And uh, I was certain uh, respect and fellow feeling for George Washington, uh, his family... Uh, window in in the Abbey at Selby, which is down the road to me. Whenever I have American visitors, uh, I always take them along to see that. It's always fascinating to see where the founding fathers actually originated from before they actually got to Plymouth and sailed from Plymouth. Uh, and many of them came from this part of the world. And I can is almost close enough. It is close enough for me to cycle to. That's how close it is. And a beautiful building, Selby Abbey. Uh, and rather secret, nobody really knows about it, but if you ever find yourself in the area, it's well worth a visit. But I thought it would be worth just reading a small bit of it for this week's pod, because I think it's as apposite today for us as it ever was all those years ago for him and the American people. See what you make of this. Europe has set of primary interests which to us have none or very remote relation. Hence she must be engaged in frequent controversies, the causes of which are essentially foreign to our concerns. Hence therefore it must be unwise to implicate ourselves by artificial ties in the ordinary vicissitudes of her politics or in the ordinary combination and collisions of her politics or the ordinary combinations and collisions of her friendships or enmities. Our detached, distant situation invites and enables us to pursue a different course. Why, by interweaving our destiny with that of any part of Europe, entangle our peace and prosperity in the toils of European ambition, rivalry, interest, humour or caprice? You know, that could easily be said of our country today. And if we had looked and taken note, I rather fancy, of George Washington's wise words that he wrote all those years ago, it would have saved us the blood and tears, certainly, of the Great War, and arguably much of the Napoleonic Wars as well, uh, in the 19th century. Uh, be friends, it goes on to say, I won't quote it all, but go on, be friends. Let's trade, uh, let the merchants ply between the two countries. Absolutely marvellous, no question about that. But entanglements, treaties and entanglements we don't need. No good comes of them, no good has ever come of them, especially for the United Kingdom. Uh, and uh, I counsel you, if you will, to bear those words in mind, and if you have a moment, to Google up uh, George Washington's farewell address. Uh, there's much more in it there worth reading as well.